and want to get you talking about the Sabbath. Want to get you talking about whether Jesus made fermented wine or not. Want to get you talking about anything but the gospel and the cross. And when you're out, you got to keep the main thing the main thing. The main thing is get that gospel on. And then you can talk about, you know, holy underwear with a Mormon later. <laughs> You can talk about the fact that Muhammad was a pedophile later. Yeah. Let's just talk about the gospel. Get the gospel in on first. Don't get off track. You got to stay on track. Amen. So uh, I walked up to uh, this family, right? It's family of five. And I say, hey, you know, I'm going around giving these invites to my church. But I bet you're tourists because we're at the Alamo. They're like, yeah, we're tourists. But the two parents, they spoke Spanish. So obviously I'm trying to speak to the parents first before the children. Uh, but I said, do any of you speak English? And of course, all the kids raised their hand. Well, thank God the parents weren't like, stop talking to my kids, get away. So I ended up just asking the kids, you know, if you know, die today, you shouldn't sure go to heaven. And they said, well, yeah. I said, well, what do you got to do? They said, follow Jesus and believe him. I said, okay, so I have to follow the commandments in order to go to heaven. I just want to make sure that's, that's what they're saying rather than, oh, yeah, we should. And so they said, we have to be commandments. So I always say, I go with the gospel, and I say, hey, the Bible says something different. And one girl, I don't know what it was, but I, I don't know what it was, but I was like, I just really focused in on her. And it ended up being, I, I read, at, or not at, I read Romans 6, 23, the way she's made up for the gift of God, she's going to let you use her I, I finished explaining that it was a gift, and she said, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're just telling me I can go off and sin? You're just telling me I can go off and live something like And she starts bawling her eyes out. And she's like, well, I, I don't still hear that. She's like, my whole life, I've been told to follow. I've been told to follow and follow. She's like, I have to follow. And the whole time, I'm like, no, you don't. The song is ripping face on one song, not of ourselves. And, you know, like, the whole time, she had no problem with that. I don't understand what you're saying. She, I said, do you understand what I'm saying? She said, no. So I went to another verse. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. And that's, that's why it's so important to have that discernment of, you know, people being a heretic and people not understanding what you're saying. So she was a heretic. She just didn't get it. And right. she finally, at the very end, I said, what do you got to do to get that? And she said, holy. And so... Her and her, her two kids, they got saved. And Praise the Lord. The whole time she's crying because she had that word in her. I have to follow. I have to follow. I have to No, you don't. You should. But you don't. That was awesome. You know, I love what the kids. She was only like 17. She's 17 and just crying her eyes out. Because obviously she loves the Lord. Because she wants to keep his commandments. So I thought it was really great. Yeah. Praise God.